and a gold stick umbrella, <laughs> feeling like a million dollars because he has date. Bravo! You're a Christian and cannibal. Bravo! If I just hammer sarcastic, you just clap sarcastic. <laughs> now I want to pee. <laughs> I think I'll join you. So because I go and pee, you must pee too? <laughs> <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> You're bloody ape, mate. You people just came down from the trees. <laughs> Say that again, please. I'm going to keep that line. Oh, rehearsing, rehearsing. <laughs> I thought you were serious. Oh, you go and have your pee. I'll run over my monologue. No, you best go and do it now, sir. Or else it's going to be on my mind that while we're rehearsing, what we really want to do is take a break and pee. <laughs> we just go together then. I would call it a pee break. Off we go then. <laughs> but how long will you be there? You people take forever. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should hold up a sign, sir. I'll get some sort of signal when you're serious or when you're joking so I would know not to react. I would say about five minutes. Five minutes? <laughs> what is this, my friend, Niagara Falls? <laughs> It'll take me... Look, you want me to time it? I treat it like a ritual. I don't just pee for pee and sick. <laughs> It'll take me about 40 to 50 seconds to walk round to the servant's toilet. Wait, wait, No, wait. you wait, please, sir. That's almost one minute. Take another 40 to 50 seconds to walk back, or maybe even more, because after a good pee, a man does be in a mood both ruminative and grateful that the earth has received his libation. <laughs> So that makes all this. Oh, Jesus, give me a break, NASA. That's almost two minutes. And in between those two minutes, it has such solemn and ruminative behavior as opening the fly, looking upwards or downwards, the ease and relief, the tender shaking, the solemn tucking in like you're putting a little baby back to sleep. Then the reverse zipping or buttoning, depending on the parts. <laughs> and then with the self-congratulatory washing of the hands, looking at yourself for at least half a minute in the mirror. <laughs> then the drying of the hands as if you're a master surgeon, just finished a major operation, <laughs> and they walk back. You said that already, and it's under five Look, minutes. No matter, I could go and you could tie me to see if I am a go slow, or whether I'm wasting up my employer's precious time. But I know that it will take at least five. Unless, of course, like most white people, you don't flush it, a part I forgot. <laughs> or you just wipe your hands fast, fast, or not at all. Which white people, Jackson? I was bathroom attendant at the Hilton, and I know men and races from their urinary habits. <laughs> and most Englishmen. Most Englishmen. Look what I was trying to tell you was that instead of walking all the way around to the servants' <laughs> lavatories, pop into my place, have a quick one, which would be under five bloody minutes in any circumstances and regardless of the capacity. Go on. I'm all right. You use your bathroom, Mr. Harry? Go on, will you? No, wait, I want to get this. You are giving me permission to walk through your living room with your valuables lying about, with a picture of your wife watching me in case I should leave the bathroom door open. <laughs> And you are granting me the privilege of taking out my thing, doing my thing right there among all those lotions and expensive soaps, and after I finish wiping my hands in a clean towel? Well, since you make it so vividly horrible, why don't you just walk around to the servants' quarters, take as much time as you like? Five minutes won't kill me. I mean, equality is equality, and art is art. But to use those clean, rough cannon towels, you mustn't rush things, Mr. Harry. People have to slide into independence. <laughs> they get these idols independent so fast that people still in recover from the shock. So they're pissing and they're wiping their hands indiscriminately. 